Hello everyone and welcome back to Professional Commentary. This is Boba Java and we are playing Dishonored 2. So uh, last episode my audio pooped out so you guys didn't hear anyone talking and not even the noises that made me poop my pants, which is slightly embarrassing. But you know how that go- wait. Oh yeah, there we go. I was like, I popped- ooh, I didn't loot these people? Thank you, thank you. Sorry, this is for the uh... This goes to uh, the coffers of the Empire for the upcoming war with Delilah. That's going to be a one-man war, specifically, with Delilah. Uh, nope. Um, I don't know if those guys are my enemies or not, so... I'm just gonna... I'm just gonna pretend they're not my enemy, and... We're just gonna leave. Because this place is horrible. I don't like being here. Okay, whoops. Uh, there we go. Now just climb onto the thing. That's nice. That's good. Okay, we got all the free stuff. Did we get everything? I think we got everything. Yeah, you just need to get on the skiff. Sweet. Hey, Megan. How you is? How you doing, dog? Nope. So it's done. Ashworth won't be a problem anymore. Nope. Good. But Emily, there's something else. Your eyes infected? Bad things. As the Empress, you shouldn't be saying that. Just putting that out there. Emily, be a better Empress. But I felt like you should know. There are things I regret. Like being a mobster in I Santa Fe. If only a little. No. I'm starting to feel like you deserve it. That's nice. Are you ready to leave now? I've been ready since you started talking. Let's get it on. Let's go. Let's go. Yes. Let's leave. Let's go. Let's say ciao. Arrivederci. Another step to la vista. Golem wants to get so many ships and we shall leave. We have not was never seen. Uh, total hostile. Ah, uh, I don't know who I killed. Was it. It might have been the person I threw in the face with. With the, um. The flaming bottle. It's probably that. Non lethal assault. Yeah. Yeah, bodies detected. Everyone just detects our bodies. And yeah, I was detected like 20 times. Wait, what? I was? I don't believe you. We got all the ruins. Yeah, sweet. All the good, important things we got. Everything that's important. <coughs> okay, continue. For several years, Delilah's been here. Getting stronger. She has? Turning people against me. Oh, she I means in the Why past. Why I see it coming? What was I doing during that time? Being a horrible empress. To listen at court, ruling through an army of bureaucrats, waiting for the next chance to get free of Dunwall Tower. Well, now I'm free. If only I could go back. Aramis Stilton was once an ally of the Duke, the owner of Karnaka's mines. Stilton lives in a fortified bunker at the heart of the Dust District. No one's seen him for years. Since around the time Delilah started making her moves, but whether Stilton's alive or dead, his home holds the key to Delilah's immortality. Probably still alive. Probably immortal. Probably turned into some kind of monster. Hey! Look at that. We got another thing. Ah, look at that. We got a... Got a witchblade. It's broken, but, you know... Take what you can get. Let's write in our travel log. Scribble, scribble, scribble. Okay. I'll read that at some point. I'll read everything at some point. You know how life goes. Seizure time. Um, okay, so now we are going to open the store. Then we're going to close the door. Then we're gonna go this way. Then we are going to. What we're gonna do. Uh, 
how he's painting her. Okay. Hey, he's also started drawing me. That's nice. That's cool. Must kill the rats. Exterminate all the rats. Okay, cool. Except for the fact that my PC is having seizures um, quite often now. Eh, everything is kind of cool. Everything's going smoothly. 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 Smeagle. Smeagle. We should open the door, we shall. What's this to be told? Uh, Putty drum was meant. Anton, that tin of putty was meant for the portal seals. I see you've smeared it all over canvas. Is that your idea of art? And how will that keep the rain out? Do you. Do your painting or. Oh, do your painting or whatever I thought was a question. Uh, do your painting or whatever it is, but use your own things. Leave my stuff alone. I'm trying to run a ship here. Also, your snoring is dreadful. I can't. Can't you prop up your pillow? You're always bragging about some old thing you invented. Well, invent something for that. Why don't you? Ooh, she's getting, she's getting annoyed. She's getting quite antsy. My mana did not come back, even though I slept. I should close the toilet. Why was she writing a letter on the toilet? Doesn't she have her own quarters? Doesn't Anton have his own quarters as well? Why am I sneaking? I have so many questions. This door is to my room. Okay, let's leave that open. And then we'll go this way. Uh, she has left. And I need the elixirs that she... Hello. Yo. I wonder if uh, the developers are aware that if someone is generally a brutal murderer or an assassin or whatever, it's not because black magic or whatever um, made their head explode or whatever. Uh, it's probably because that's what they do because they're a sociopath or a psychopath. So you can't just change them by punching them. This isn't some kind of anime. While you were resting up, I had an old man drop me off so I could check out the dust district. I'll meet you there and pass along whatever I learn. The old man or a old man? The old man. Come find me when you're awake. Okay. Yeah, so let's close. Okay. Um, is there anything else to do? I want other things to do. Ooh. Jeez, Louise. What's my video settings as visuals? Let's just put it as high. Yeah, it's fine. It's not great, but you know, whatever. I need to get more RAM. This thing does. Um. Okay. Um. I'm not in the room. So, Oxies. Also, this is how you get, well, this is one way to get to, um, the old man's room, Soklov's room. Yay. I wonder if he's angry for the fact that, what's that? Seems like a clockwork soldier's chest. He's probably taking it apart, making some old thing. Some old thing. Bow, 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 bow. Vice. Now you put your head in, and you close the vice. And that's how you do science. That from Suklov. Let's see tomorrow, but I'm not so old as to be useless yet. Behold, I have fashioned a little con contravance for you, using only parts come from that wrecked vessel. Yes, all right, a few bits were currently in use, but I assure you none were involved in keeping us afloat. So nothing to make it as a disposition needs no further souring. In any case, may this device serve you well. Suklov. Stun mine. Stun mine. Suckle of I have stun mines. 
I'm pretty sure I have stun mines. Yes, I have stun mines. But thank you, I guess. I guess. So I never expected to feel Jellied so eels. Tired. I paid Karnaka for the food and the clean air. Now this. Yeah, I got all the bullets I need. Don't need any more. Don't need no more bullets. I should just eat all the food. This is a big fish. Om nom 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 nom. Ooh, goodness. Goodness me. Ooh, it's moving. It's moving. I feel bad. Ugh. Evil devil fish. Okay. Yes, yes, Bendis, yeah. Overseers or Howlers. Oh, this is where you get to make the decision. But I think the Howlers already want to kill me, so... Okay. Paolo. So much living written into the lines of his face. That's just called being in the sun too much. Anyway, hello, Anton. Let's have a let's have a chat. I need to know why Delilah can't be killed. Everything we've learned implies that something strange happened at Baroness Stilton's home three years ago, but then he disappeared. Stilton lived yeah, the hanky panky. Horrible hanky panky. Made by Jin Dosh. Maybe inside you learn more about how to stop Delilah. But I have to get there first, through a ruin created by the Duke, where my father grew up. Megan had an intriguing idea. Paolo is leader of the Howlers. He wants Vice Overseer Byrne killed. And of course, Byrne wants Paolo dead too. Both groups will attack you on sight, but walk in with the corpse. Uh, of course they will. They'll treat you like family. You think they'll help me get into Aramis Stilton's home? I'm pretty sure that will work. Seeing this place and these people, I can feel my Karnaka. How will I be different after this? Uh, you'll be made of oranges. The vice overseer for Karnaka, Liam Byrne. I'm probably gonna choose the overseers, but we'll we'll have that chat when we do. Or when I do, when a bagel. Uh, I think that's everything on the ship. I kind of want to fix the ship again. Whee! Mm. It's me jumping. Yep. Yeah, like she's sleeping way up here, way up north in Alaska, and you're supposed to be way up on the other side. Wow. She'll be trying to it's get mean. Stilton's house. <laughs> Not easy. I've Ooh. tried. Stilton was a friend. Even as a mine owner, he was a good man. Hey. From working people. How are you? I never forgot it. I went looking for him the night he disappeared. But the house was swarming with the Grand Guard. I showed them what I was worth, but it cost me. Talk oh, faster. Well, that is if you keep your eyes. Also, these people know that other people will find their audiographs because they're kind of huge. Let's quickly go there. Yeah, he doesn't have an audiograph. Hello again, neglected journal. Almost thought I was gonna fall back down. Didn't want that to happen.
Hey, Anton, how you? How you go? How you do? Ready now. Dog, sup? Sup, dog. All right, let's go. Let's, let's go have a look at Karnaka. Okay. I kind of feel like this sh should be played with uh, Corvo since he was the one that actually grew up here, so he'll have more to say or more meaningful ideas about Karnaka. Whereas Emily is just like, oh, look, I'm outside. Also, she's a horrible empress. I mean, goodness gracious, she's a horrible empress. She even admits in the previous episode, she admits that, uh, you know, if you, you have to be a horrible person or do things that you are, um, that you're ashamed of, things that you, bad, yeah, essentially have to do bad things or be a bad person to live in Dunwall. And she's like, yeah, but isn't that the price to pay? Uh, to be a citizen, uh, you know, she doesn't say it like, oh, but duh, obviously I have to do these things. She says it sarcastic, like, that's the price to pay. Like, like, yeah, it's so hard, but these things happen. An ally to the old duke, loyal and smart. Still could help to build modern Karnaka with those silver mines. Started as a miner and worked his way up until he was a prince of industry. Oh, that's why it's the dust district. I suppose the Duke doesn't care, as long as he sips from silver cups. And what are the cups at Dunwall Tower made from, Empress? In any case, dust? Pass through the dust district to reach Stoughton's home. That's probably maybe silver. Or maybe he's dead. Batista Mining District. Yeah. I like this suitcase. Okay, okay. Hope you guys can hear this time. Otherwise, it's going to be orcsies again. Oh goodness! The crown killer is watching. Mm, okay. There's nothing for me to pick up here. Okay. Guess there isn't. Crematorium thingy. Um, I kind of, kind of want to, uh, get outside and see how it goes. Whale bone, windmill operation. Killed the rats. Okay. But yeah, so she essentially says, you know, she knows that it's horrible that these things happen and, you know, she, had, she doesn't do anything about it. She's just like, yeah, I'm aware that it's horrible to live in Dunwall. It's like, well, pu pull your finger out of your ass and fix it. Do something about it. Be a better empress. Goodness sake. Dust District. Kind of feels like something out of bi uh, Borderlands. Still a pretty game. Still a pretty game. Anyway, this has been Boba Java. We're playing Dishonored 2, and in the next episode, we will try to get to. What's this man's name? Not Megan. Oh, yeah, we're going to try to get to Megan Foster. Then we're going to try and get into the home of the other guy. Yeah, so I will see you all in the next video. If you liked it, let us know. Give us your input. We always love hearing from you. Thank you so much for watching. This has been Boba Java. See you all next time. Ciao.